大学入学考试中心高中英语听力测验二参考试卷作答注意事项。本测验考试时间六十分钟含作答说明。本测验共四大题共四十题。所有试题皆为选择题包含单选及多选两类。每题配分相同。请根据试题本与语音播放的内容作答。作答方式。请用二 B 铅笔在答案卡上作答。更正时应以橡皮擦擦拭。切勿使用修正液或修正带。未依规定画记答案卡指机器扫描无法辨识答案者其后果由考生自行承担。聆听过程中考生可是需要于试题本上记下内容要点。如有受干扰无法听清楚之试题请于全部试题播放完毕后考试结束铃响前举手向监视人员反映。请翻开试题本。一看图变异。第一部分单选题。说明。第一题。至第四题每题有四幅图画。请仔细观察各图画并聆听语音播出的试题。根据试题内容选出最符合题意的图画选项并将答案画记在答案卡之选择题答案区。每题播放一次。请听例题内容。For the sample question, please look at the four pictures. Sample question. There's a garden in front of the house. A little girl is watering plants there. For question one, please look at the four pictures. Question 1. A young man has just finished playing basketball. He is buying a cola from a vending machine. For question 2, please look at the four pictures. Question 2. A father is holding his little boy. While a nurse is giving the boy a shot. For question 3, please look at the four pictures. Question 3. Two male students are getting into a fight with each other. A woman is trying to stop them. For question 4, please look at the four pictures. Question 4. Today is Friday, April 15th, and it's now 4 30 p.m. E. Kantu Bian Yi. Dear Bu Fen. Duo Shen Ti. Shu Ming. 第五题至第十题为多选题。每题配有一幅图画及四个选项。请仔细观察图画并聆听试题。从听到的四个选项中选出最符合图意的两个答案并将答案画记在答案卡之选择题答案区。每题播放一次。请听例题内容。For the sample question, please look at picture S. Sample question Which two of the following are true about the people in the picture? A. They're playing volleyball. B. They're kicking the ball. C. They're all wearing shorts. D. 
They're wearing long sleeved shirts. A, C. 现在开始作答第二部分多选题 For question 5, please look at picture 5. Question 5. Which two of the following are true about the man in the picture? A. He's having a job interview. B. He's worried about an upcoming test. C. He's enjoying talking to a customer. D. He's working as a clerk in a store. For question six, please look at picture six. Question six Which two of the following are true about the banned items? A. All American high schools ban comic books. B. Comic books are the number one banned item. C. More schools ban cell phones than earrings. D. More than 50% of American high schools ban cosmetics. For question 7, please look at picture 7. Question 7. Which two of the following are true about the woman in the picture? A. She's pressing an elevator button. B. She's admiring herself in a mirror. C. She's standing all by herself. D. She's wearing a skirt. For question 8, please look at picture 8. Question 8. Which two of the following are true about the summer program? A. It was held at Korea University. B. It lasted more than two months. C. It included 1,400 courses. D. It invited 60. World famous professors. For question nine, please look at picture nine. Question nine Which two of the following are true about the departures? A. The flight to New York departs at 1450. B. The flight to Hong Kong departs at 1510. C. The flight to Madrid departs from gate 24. D. The flight to Amsterdam departs from gate 15. For question 10. Please look at picture 10. Question 10. Which two of the following have the least influence on teens' money management? A. Media. B. Friends. C. Teachers. D. Parents. Er, 对答，说明，第十一题至第二十题共十题，皆为单题。请听语音播出的一个问句或指数句后，依试题本所列的选项，选出一个最适当的回应选项，并将答案画记在答案卡之选择题答案区，每题播放一次。请听例题内容 Sample question: Where's the book I bought yesterday?
。答案为 C。现在开始第二大题。Question eleven: How did your English test go last week? Question twelve: You look so cool in that jacket. Where did you get it? Question thirteen: Why did you close the window? Question fourteen: Sue and I are going to the movies. Would you like to join us? Question fifteen. I think I'm getting to like English day by day. Question sixteen. Excuse me. Can I ask you some questions about your summer program? Question seventeen. You look so sweaty. Have you been playing basketball? Question eighteen. I saw Jenny holding a sign out in front of the school. Question nineteen: What topic will Professor Brown speak on tonight? Question twenty: The course is very demanding. It requires one term paper, one take-home exam, and two oral presentations. Question 选出一个最适当的选项，并将答案画记在答案卡之选择题答案区，每题或题组播放一次。请听例题内容。For the sample question, you'll listen to a short conversation. Mom, I should get a motorcycle. We've talked about this before. It's too dangerous to ride in the city. But it takes almost one hour to go to school by bus. I promise I will be careful. I won't take the risk. End of discussion. Sample question: What does the woman mean at the end of the conversation? For question twenty-one, you'll listen to a short conversation. Janice, would you like to go to a movie with me this weekend? Yeah, I'd love to. I'm busy most of the day Saturday, but Saturday night is fine. Great. How about we meet at the west exit of the train station at eight o'clock? We could walk down to the cinema from there. Sure, that sounds great. 
Bye, Bob. Question 21. Where will Janice and Bob meet? For question 22, you'll listen to a short conversation. Who is your role model, Mary? Ms. Wang, of course. She's a real polyglot. A polyglot? What do you mean? Well, you know, she's a native speaker of Mandarin Chinese. But she speaks French, German, Spanish, Polish, and Russian equally fluently. Question 22. Which of the following descriptions is true about Miss Wong? For question 23, you'll listen to a short conversation. Holly, how do you like the soup? It tastes like something's missing. But I followed every step in the recipe. What could have gone wrong? It's actually not that bad, considering this is the first time you made it. A little bit of salt and pepper will add some flavor. Question 23. Which of the following statements is true about this conversation? For question 24, you'll listen to a short conversation. Good morning, class. Let's continue our discussion on the issue of global warming. Does everyone have the handout I gave you last week? Yes, Miss Norman. Hmm, I forgot to bring mine. Maybe I could share yours, Joan? No problem, Larry. Question 24. What can be inferred from the conversation? For questions 25 and 26, you will listen to a conversation. Your dog is really cute and well-behaved. When did you start training him? When he was still a puppy. That's really early. Well, it's never too early to train your dog. Training sessions are really important. How long should the training sessions last? Try to keep them short, consistent, and fun. You can start with easy commands so that your dog can learn them easily. He also gets a sense of achievement. Right. That's important. Should I give him lots of rewards? Definitely. Make sure he knows he is doing a great job, and in the end, he will enjoy the training sessions. Anything else I should know? Be patient and realistic. It takes time for your puppy to get used to your commands, but you will find the training sessions very rewarding afterwards. Question 25. What is this conversation about? Question 26. According to the conversation, which of the following is true? For questions 27 and 28, you'll listen to a conversation. Hi, Stuart. I'm back. Where are you? Hi there. I'm in the kitchen, Sophie. I hope you're hungry. I'm absolutely starving. I'm freezing, too. 
Do you know how cold it is outside? No idea. I've been working at home all day and haven't been out. My fingers feel like they are about to drop off. It must be minus 15 at least. Gosh, I really hate February. So, what's for dinner? I fixed us some spaghetti. That should warm you up a bit. Oh, great. That's exactly what I need right now. Is it ready, or do I have time for a quick shower first? It'll be on the table in a moment. I hoped you'd say that. Question 27 What's the weather like outside? Question 28 When is the couple going to eat their dinner? For questions 29 and 30, you'll listen to a conversation. Chris, did you go to Professor Johnson's lecture Tuesday night? I wish I could have, but I've been busy with this project. So, what was the lecture about? Mismanagement of water resources. Sounds interesting. Yeah. He said water shortage is probably the most serious environmental problem we face, apart from climate change. The Earth has all the water it needs to supply the six billion people who live on it with clean, safe drinking water. But millions of people are going to die because of water shortages. And that is because water resources are mismanaged? Precisely. So, What's your project about, Chris? Packaging and recycling. The report is due tomorrow. Question 29 What was the topic of Professor Johnson's lecture? Question 30. Which of the following statements is true about Chris? Si. Dan Wen Ting Jie. Shuo Ming. Di San Shi Yi Ti, Ji Di Si Shi Ti, Gong Shi Ti. 每两题为一题组，请先阅读试题本的题目，先了解问题的重心或方向，然后听语音播出的一段讯息，从试题本中选出一个最适当的选项，并将答案画记在答案卡之选择题答案区。每题组播放一次，请阅读例题。请听例题内容。The sample question is based on the following report. Wonderland is perhaps the most popular vacation spot for families. It attracts tourists and provides jobs for the local residents in its hotels and shopping malls. But now it is called the Tragic Kingdom. The neighbors suffer from traffic jams that last for miles, and it takes hours to park the car. Empty cans, bottles, and garbage are everywhere. The whole place is becoming polluted. Most of all, prices of goods are skyrocketing. People pay more for living here.
请阅读第三十一及三十二题试题。Questions. 31 and 32 are based on the following report. Ichihara City in Japan recently opened what is called the biggest public toilet in the world. The toilet, located in front of a railway station, is boxed in glass and sits in the middle of a garden of flowers and plants. For privacy, There is a two meter high fence surrounding the garden. According to a local government official, it is hoped that the unusual toilet will become a tourist attraction. At the moment, it is only for women, but according to the official, it may be open to everyone in the future. The toilet was designed by So Fujimoto. Who recently rose to international fame with his winning design for the new Taiwan Tower to be built in Taichung? The architect says that public toilets are something both private and public, so designing them can be a very motivating challenge.请阅读第三十三及三十四题试题。Questions 33 and 34 are based on the following talk. I traveled to the United States from London in the summer of 1977. It was my first trip to America, and it was also the first time I'd been overseas. Actually, it was the first time I'd ever taken a vacation by myself. Flying was particularly expensive in those days. I stayed with my aunt's family in Philadelphia for five weeks and got to know my cousin, Robert. He and I would hang out at the local mall and spend all of our time and money on asteroids. At the time, it was the latest and greatest in computer game technology, and we thought it was awesome. Now, of course, it looks incredibly primitive today.请阅读第三十五及三十六题试题。Questions 35 and 36 are based on the following talk. What should you expect and how should you behave if you have to attend a business meeting in the USA? First, arrive on time. Punctuality is important to Americans, especially in the Northeast and Midwest. If you are late, Americans will think you are unreliable. Second, 
Expect very little friendly conversation before getting down to business. Time is important to Americans, and business is done without delay. Third, although meetings may appear relaxed, they are taken seriously. Americans tend to be informal and friendly, but they are still serious. Fourth, if you make a presentation, it should be direct and to the point. Also, use statistics. Americans are impressed by hard data and evidence. Finally, focus on getting a contract signed rather than building a relationship. A relationship may develop later, but the contract comes first. Questions 37 and 38 are based on the following talk. The Children's Museum of Phoenix is a wonderful place of imagination, creativity, and just plain fun. Designed for children ages 0 to 10, this is not your typical museum. Here, we want you to touch everything. And with over 48,000 square feet of space, there's plenty to touch. The museum offers more than 300 play experiences. In addition, we offer different types of classes and programs, from music and yoga to math and science. And our special arts and crafts room is a young artist's dream come true. You can find us in the heart of downtown Phoenix on the southeast corner of 7th Street. The Children's Museum of Phoenix is a proud receiver of many awards, including being named one of the best children's museums in the United States. Questions 39 and 40 are based on the following report. Few people doubt that online learning can help teachers be more effective and make classes more interesting. What are the trends in online learning? One is to replace traditional textbooks with more engaging and interactive ways of learning. Another is to use the Internet to find great lectures and effective course materials. And a third trend is the use of social networks to help teachers and students communicate and work together. Of course, no one knows exactly what education will be like in the future, but current trends make it almost certain that online learning will play an increasingly important role. In fact, a recent U.S. Department of Education study showed that blended learning, which is a combination of online learning and classroom teaching, improved student grades by 14%.
This is the end of the listening comprehension test.